Hello! In this video, I have a very helpful Xcode tip to share with you guys, uh, and that's how to reset Xcode and reset the simulator. So why do we want to do that? Well, sometimes when you run your project and it doesn't connect to the simulator, uh, it's giving you some error, or maybe your app doesn't run at all. Did you know that it could be a bug in Xcode or an error in Xcode and not necessarily your uh, programming or your code or your storyboard? So it's really quick to do and it's worth a try when you're running into problems anyways. So to reset the simulator, have it in your foreground, go up to this iOS simulator menu, go to reset content and settings. And then when it asks you just hit reset. And what that does is it uh, resets the simulator to the original state. Okay, so it takes a while to do that. But usually after that finishes, I just quit Xcode, quit the simulator, and kind of restart everything. Uh, another way to reset your project is go up to the product menu here and select clean. And what that does is it cleans out all of the built assets and code from your project the last time you ran it. Because, uh, the, because Xcode will only recompile your code if it's changed or only the bits that have changed. So sometimes if you want to start from a absolute clean slate, then go to product and then clean here. Uh, and finally, one last thing that you can do is go up to window in the Xcode menu and go to projects. And you can reset or delete rather the derived data for your project. On the left hand side here, you can select which project and you know this is the one that I've got open here and then select delete derived data. And what this is, is it indexes all of your files and you know this output down here, that stuff is all saved, the logs and everything. You can just delete it, clear it. And the next time it's going to rebuild it. See, it's uh, already there, right? Um, you can close Xcode and then you can start it again. And so those are three ways for you to reset Xcode uh, and reset your simulator. And that might just do the trick if it's an Xcode related error and not your code. So I hope that was helpful for you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.